Hey everyone, it's Tyler from Zephyr Epic here, and today we are getting our first look at the brand new 2021-22 Upper Deck OPG Platinum Hockey Hobby Box. Like the past few 2021-22 hockey card releases, we have a new product format. It is now a 12 card per pack, 12 pack per box product, which is a change from the four card per pack, 20 pack per box format of previous years. And you can kind of just tell based off of the box size that there are a lot more cards in it this year. Also, like 2021-22 Upper Deck Ice that came out last week, uh, the base set has been expanded. There are 50 more veteran base cards and 50 more rookies in the set for a total of 300 cards. In previous years, there were generally 150 veteran players and 50 rookies. There's one new parallel this year, which is the Hot Magma Parallel numbered to 399, and then a new Platinum Die Cuts insert as well. In terms of your average box break, you will find, again, on average, one autograph, 11 base parallels from the Rainbow Sunset and or Matte Pink parallels, five numbered base parallels, six OPG Retro cards, one OPG Retro Rainbow parallel, and then 12 inserts from the Photo Driven, Platinum Die Cuts, and or Sweet Selection insert sets. If you're wondering how the average box breakdown compares to previous years, you're essentially getting three more Rainbow Sunset and or Matte Pink parallels, three more numbered base parallels, nine more inserts, and there's just 64 more cards in general per box. So you're likely getting some extra base rookies and base cards on top of that. Uh, in previous years, you typically got a base rookie per pack, so a total of around 20 per box. We'll see if it's about the same this year or if it's more, we'll count them up at the end of the break. Enough of a preamble, let's get into the box. Here we go. Like I mentioned, it's new format this year with the 12 cards per pack, 12 packs per box. Uh, I'm glad they changed up the pack format because the old four card per pack, 20 packs per box format was just felt like a lot of packs for what it was. Um, I know it's good if you're buying single packs. I definitely missed the sticker here. It's good if you're buying single packs, but also it just feels like, you know, this format's just going to be a little bit better. So we'll see. But yeah, I do miss when they had the jumbo format back in, I think the last year they had it was 2014-15, if I remember correctly. So here's your box. Typical like standard box from essentially the past few products have kind of had the same kind of shape and size and volume to them. And again, as per usual, if you're interested in picking up a box yourself, feel free to check out our site at zephyrepic.com. There will be a link to OPG Platinum in the description below and a link to our just store in general. There's free shipping on all orders over $50. So go ahead and check that out. All right, here we go. Pack one. These feel like absolute bricks and feel like they're going to be a little bit tough to open. I think everything in here, by the way, like all the base cards are 27 points. So they might be a little bit tougher to fit into uh, regular sleeves and top loaders. But yeah, that is platinum. Your typical platinum base. It essentially takes the Opechi design from this year and then chromes it out. So here we go. We'll go through the base slowly here. So here's a Patrick Line. There's your front. There's your back. Uh, typically, if it's a parallel, they'll probably put it on the card as they have in previous years. So yeah, we got, it looks like a matte pink. So there we go. Suzuki, Anders Lee. All right, we have our first retro. So it's three base cards and then into a retro, uh, which is Austin Matthews. He's gonna get six retros per box. Next up, we have a marquee rookie. Again, back of the retros has the R3 on it, because that's obviously R3 is Matthews. Uh, marquee rookie of Frederick Allard, marquee rookie of Philip Gustafson. So there's two rookies and a marquee rookie of Uko Pekka Lukanen. So three rookies per pack, a matte pink of Sebastian Ajo. There you go. It kind of describes it on the back. I love the bright pink on the back of the matte pinks. There's our matte pink. It has kind of like a steel finish to it too. It's hard to tell on camera, but in person you kind of see it a little bit better. The lighting's, I tried to get the lighting as best as I could for the video as well too. It's a little bit tougher with the reflective cards. All right, I'll put that back there. Uh, photo driven of Spencer Knight. So there you go, kind of really cool insert sets on the Chrome because it just highlights the players a little bit more, kind of gets the background out of there. Pretty cool. I like these, they're cool looking cards. I think you can get autograph parallels as well. So there's an insert set. It looks like three base cards on the back. So William, or two base cards on the back. I don't know, three. William Carlson, Mark Shifley, and Andre Sveshnikov. So 
Uh, was there one behind Svetch? No, there was not one behind Svetch. So there you go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six base cards per pack. Uh, three rookies, an insert, a parallel, and a retro is kind of probably what your average breakdown will be. Yeah, I I like this. I like the new format. It's kind of in between Jumbo and what it was in previous years, so we'll see. It looks like we got one of the die cuts. You can tell right away. All right, so there's a Sebastian Ajo base card, so three off the front. And, oh, that's a really good rainbow rookie right out of the gate, Lucas Raymond. Those look really clean, really good foiling on them. Card quality looks pretty sharp. Let's get that sleeved up. I believe they probably, they might not fit in a standard top loader, but yeah, those are really sharp and clean. It's looking really good on camera and it looks really nice in person this year. So good to see. Print quality is always one of the main things with them. Um, let me finish top loading this with OPG Platinum just because if you get it without the print lines and stuff, the card just looks so nice. Um, yeah, looks really, really solid. Good rookie to get too. Let me get the, uh, let's get some stands ready because OPG Platinum is a pretty, pretty product. Especially again, if you like parallels, there are, I think 12 parallels per base card. If I remember correctly, they really like the number 12 in this this year. 12 cards per pack, 12 packs per box, 12 parallels. Uh, Rosichka, Will Lockwood, Maxime Shushko, and a red prism of Cam York. So a nice red prism rookie. Kind of got that, like, you can kind of see the shine on it. I believe these are $199 unless they've changed. Yeah, $199. 139 of 199 We'll put that up there and sleep and top load it after. Uh, die cuts. These are kind of cool. We'll stick that to the side and we'll go through, get rid of the base on the back. So just some base cards. These are actually pretty sharp as well. So Miro Heiskanen on the die cuts. I like these. These are nice. These are nice looking. Don't mind those at all. We'll put those here. All right. So numbered cards. Again, it's kind of what you're looking for in OPG Platinum. If you are wondering what you're looking to get, you're looking to get the on-card rookie autos. You're looking to get the low numbered rookie parallels as well particularly again if you're lucky enough to get the golden treasures one of one those are absolutely incredible but um orange checkers are good anything number 25 or less even 50 or less is a really solid pull so yeah there we go there's our first base parallel that's numbered so cam york so there's one of hopefully five uh what else do they like to do in OPG platinum lots of easter egg content there are, there's a lot of Easter egg content in the product. So like make sure after you open up your box, if there's something that seems kind of different, you could have something that's short print. They've done like all-star variations of the base in previous years. So something to keep an eye out for. That's just a thick base card. Retro of Joel Farabee. Here's our first look at a sunset. Oh, those look nice. Yeah, the foiling in this is just incredible. They've really done a better job in previous, like, like compared to previous years. So that's a sunset. Again, states it on the back there. Cool stuff. A little bit of like, I think it's just like a little bit of edge there. Uh, Cam York rookie. We've got a sweet selections coming up here. Some of the base cards are like not stuck together, but like a little bit like tight, I guess. I guess slightly stuck, but like that's expected on Chrome products. Thompson, Darlene, sweet selections. These look cool. Swayman. So again, something that's common in foiled products like this, like chromed out products, is you do get the occasional print line and stuff. It's a lot easier to mark up like a chromed out card than it is, um, you know, any other card. So just something to keep an eye out for. And we have our first, I think this actually might be an Easter egg, uh, the OBG Platinum Premiers of Patrice Bergeron. So I will check the checklist at the end of the video, but these sometimes can be Easter eggs. So... Cool looking card, it's got that retro OPG Platinum, well, OPG Premier design. Um, yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. We'll have to see if that's an Easter egg at the uh, end of the video. So, and yeah, because there's only two base cards in that. So I think we might've just got an Easter egg on the pack that I said, watch out for Easter eggs. But we'll have to find out. I know they did put them in regular OPG this year, so it would make sense that they added them here. Yeah. Cool, these are really sharp looking cards as well. The Anything that's got that rainbow foiling on it, just, it looks so nice. Um, the closest we have to like 
Prism Silver rookies and hockey cards. All right, I think we might have a Magma coming up here. All right, three base, Silver of, or Rainbow of Demko. There's a Rainbow of Demko. There's a Bryson rookie, a Pilon rookie, a McTavish rookie, and yeah, here's one of the hot Magmas. So Andrew Mangiapane on the hot Magma. These are the 399. Those look pretty cool, especially, oh man, with the flames. If they had a really big rookie in this, that would be like the card to get. Oh, they're numbered to four, sorry, to 499. They're numbered to 499. The uh, one sheet had 399, but 499 on these. So, Mangiapane. I swear the sell sheet said 399. I'll double check, but now I'm second guessing myself. Those look really nice though. I like those insert sets. Um, yeah, just really clean looking. My screen just turned on and I like to have it on because it's nice to make sure my cards are in the center of their frame and my monitor's just not working. There we go. Uh, Bennington on the photo driven. Again, like those cards. Just kind of a cool highlight of players. And we have three base cards on the back. So Sergeyev, Barkov, and Jones. All right, I'm making mental notes for group breaks for shipping too because Ice had a lot of cards to ship. <laughs> it was a lot. All right, Zabanjad, Kako, Comtois, Kucherov on the retro. I don't they did anything like blank backs on the retro. They've never done that, but uh, Bernard Docker, Gatchevich, and Denisenko, and we have a Matt Pink of Rupe Hints. Another one of those matte pinks, kind of like steelish finish to them. Love the look of these cards. Definitely, again, centering is going to be one of the like main things with grading for platinum. It always tends to be because um, it's really easy to tell if a card's centered or not. That one's a little bit off centered, but sweet selections of Matthew Phillips for the Flames. I hope he gets more playing time this upcoming season. And then base cards Brown, Burns, and the Nuge. All right, halfway through, no auto yet. Two numbered cards. So we should have three numbered cards and an auto to go still. All right, there's our three base cards, Natchez, Kessel, and Nurse, Kopitar for the Kings on the rainbow. Apparently, by the way, Phil Kessel spite eats hot dogs out of the uh, Stanley Cup because he doesn't really like hot dogs, but after the like one Steve Simmons article, he's just like, no, I'm gonna spite eat them out of this now. Uh, Passage Schnuck for the Sharks, Lapierre for the Capitals, and Matthew Phillips for the Flames. Ooh, we have a hot magma uh, marquee rookie here. Ronberg for Vegas. Uh, obviously not like who you want to get, but again, if you get a good rookie, you're going to be pretty happy. And the hot magma parallels actually, like these look sick. Uh, this one is also numbered to 499 here. So those look really, really nice. So like just how the kind of like little cracks in the magma show up, it's... Yeah, I like that. Those look really, really, really cool, really clean. Actually, is it a different pattern depending on the player? I can't tell because of the marquee rookie thing, but it looks, no, they're the same. It's just the banner is covering up a little bit more and his head's covering up this. Uh, is it the same? It looks the same, but this part looks different. I guess it's just where his head's covering it up, so. Sorry, I was out of focus there, but those look cool. I like those. Number to four ninety nine. Those aren't. Those are pretty cool. And the upper deck is doing a pretty good job of upping their parallel game, which I like to see. Uh, Patrick Kane on the die cut for Chicago. I have Fallow. I think that's just a regular base card. Just no one behind him in the photo. Spurgeon and Chikrin. But yeah, I'm I'm liking the looks of this. It's OPG Platinum with uh, more inserts per pack. So uh, you'll probably end up getting like more quote unquote inserts per box. It's a little bit more expensive, but like I, I think it's a good good balance here. All right, we have, ooh, nice, a sunset rookie. Oh, we have a retro, sorry, I missed the retro of Carter Hart. For the Flyers, the sunset rookie of Bryson for the Sabres. These cards look beautiful. Drysdale for the Ducks on the rookie. Novak, there we go, Tommy Novak. I have an auto coming up here. Uh, Beckman and nope, uh, Violet Pixels though for Seattle. Seattle, by the way, if you are joining group breaks, we'll have links for group breaks below as well. Uh, 
is generally not a strong team in this, but hey, colon, Violet Pixels to 299. Also kind of jumped around in numbering from year to year, but those look a lot cleaner this year. I think last year is really hard to tell what player it was. Yeah, Violet Pixels. If you get an enforcer, they're a Violent Pixels insert. I'm sorry, that's a bad dad joke. I'll sleep up the... I always like sleeving up all the rookie parallels, even if it's a player that you already know is probably not going to be the biggest, uh, the biggest seller. It's just platinum cards look beautiful and it's nice to keep them in shape. All right, there's a new hook on the photo driven. Again, same kind of style. And base cards, pull Yarvi, Wheeler, and Bailey. So still looking for autograph here, but nice stack of rookies, some cool parallels. I like it. Two, three, uh, another silk rainbow here of Prosfit off for the Yotes. So second rainbow rookie, that's good to see. Getting multiple of the rainbow rookies per box is always nice. I know previous years it seemed like you got one, sometimes two per box, but we're already at two here. All right, uh, Lane Peterson, Elanin, and Turcotte. The violet pixels of Keaton Middleton for the Colorado Avalanche. So the only, I'd say one of the like downsides of having an expanded base card set for Platinum is that you have more players in the base card set. There we go. Huh, the uh, the numbering compared to the coal end is actually different. It's the 299, but oh no, never mind. It's just the lighting. I thought it was like a black foil on the back, but no, it's silver. I was just seeing things, but yeah, 299 on those. So two violet pixels. I forget what I was saying um, before that. All right, Besser on the photo driven. If I remember it, I'll probably come back to it, but I doubt I'm going to remember at this point because shiny hockey cards uh, will always distract me. Kachuk, Rasmus Dahlin, and Drew Doughty. But yeah, oh yeah, so the one thing with the expanded rookie card and base card set is that it's going to mean there's more players in it. So... Uh, it is a pretty good, like 2021, 22 is a really solid rookie crop, but like it is going to increase your likelihood of getting, you know, the, like a C tier rookie as opposed to a B tier rookie type of thing. So, uh, just something to keep in mind. Not, it's not necessarily a drawback because there are previous years where they missed out on some rookies in the base set. So I, I'll take the trade off of having more rookies because we're getting more per box on average too. Uh, Ranta on the retro rookie. Again, this has some of that like print line stuff, but very common. There's our first most cider rookie. Uh, Duhame and Vejmelka. We've got a Spencer Knight on the sweet selections and a retro rainbow. There's our one per box of Patrick Liney. He's like pretty nice as well. Yeah, it has again mentions a parallel on the back. So there's Tovenin, Riley, and Markstrom. We'll sleeve up the most cider. If there is one one of the two kind of chrome sets between Allure and Platinum that I think will take off, I would imagine it would be Platinum just because it's got the longer like history brand name to it. So, all right, three packs to go. Still no auto left. St or, well, still no auto pulled yet. Maybe that's a good sign. Kerfoot, Petrie, Rainbow of Kadri for the abs. Well, there's our rookie auto and that is a good one. Jeremy Swayman for the Bruins. That one is one of the better rookie autos to get. I'm going to imagine that he is short print. Let me take a look at the checklist here, actually. All right, so the Swayman is a Group C auto. That's a pretty nice one to get. Again, on-card auto. All the autos are on-card in this product, which is nice to see. Yeah, love it. Love the Swayman auto. One thing that is also important to note is that they're technically not like true rookies in previous years. I mean, and they're still valued as such. People still value them as a true rookie, which is weird because <laughs> people just consider them a parallel. But Upper Decks made the extension of calling them an insert set this year. So just worth noting that they don't have the base number and they just have the RJS for the player. So yeah, rookie auto of Swayman. Hey, we'll take that. Again, does fit into a top loader, it's just being stubborn. It's not centering itself. That's better. <laughs> All right, 
we'll put that front and center. That's a really good auto to get. It, it is tough to get autos out of it. And no bubbling on the auto, by the way. That has been a problem in previous years. So no bubbling on that one, at least. So it looks like they finished or fixed whatever was that. So Kachuk, Richards, and Kalen Addison. Platinum die cuts. Jack Hughes. And base. All right. Well, we got a good rookie auto. It'd be nice to get one good low number parallel. But you can't complain getting a good rookie autograph. Love to see Swayman. Wonder how much playing time he'll get next year. Wonder if he'll be a Bruin because there's talks of maybe someone offer sheeting him, but we'll see. Fiala for the Wild. Sunset of Bennington for the Blues. There is a Caulfield rookie. Nice Cole Caulfield base rookie. Uh, neighbors and Paterka. That's a really, like, really solid crop if it, they all stay the same. Like, Neighbors is the worst of them and he's still got some upside, so... Byfield on the rookie photo driven. Love me some Quentin Byfield. And Peron, Hronik, and Jari. Nice Paterka, nice Caulfield. Again, both players who I quite like. I think Paterka is going to shock some people. Caulfield, I mean, already doing good things in Montreal. So we'll see if they can. Uh, I'm guessing Montreal is probably going to. Fain like they're competing this year, but then have another year of tanking as I try and get the top loaders in. There we go. All right, final pack here. So we'll get through this pack. We'll do a recap and go from there. I think we, do we have a numbered card? Because we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we shouldn't have a numbered card here. Yeah, probably like rainbow. Well, I mean, I can see a rainbow. So Sveshnikov. For the Hurricanes. Oh, we do have a numbered card. Let's go. Arctic Freeze of Taylor Radish, I'm going to guess, to 99. That's what these have been in previous years. I Hopefully they brought Pond Hockey back because I love the Pond Hockey parallels. All right, all right. One low numbered. Okay, yep, Arctic Freeze, number to 99 of Taylor Radish. Good. Not the best player to get from the rookie crop, but not the worst. Got the, you kind of got the ice in the background. I like those. That blue with the black Tampa Bay jersey is actually pretty cool looking. All right, we'll put that there. Uh, Roots of Lion, Prosvedov, and a base Lucas Raymond. We'll put that there for now. Uh, Joe Valeno on the Sweet Selections. And then base to end it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get everything sorted for the recap. We will jump cut to it. One second. All right, now that we've got all the cards sorted, it's time to go over what you can find in your average box of 2021-22 OPG Platinum Hobby. Starting off, we had 36 total of the marquee rookies, the base marquee rookies. It was three per pack, which is up 16 total per box compared to last year. Our most noticeable ones were the Lucas Raymond on top, uh, Cole Caulfield, JJ Paterka, and Moritz Sider. So some pretty decent ones there. We got six of the retros and one of the retro rainbow. We only got one retro rookie, but sometimes that'll just probably vary depending on who you get. We got six of the base rainbow parallels, including two rookies, including one of them being this beautiful, beautiful Lucas Raymond. Absolutely love the rainbow rookies. They are stunning. Uh, we got three sunsets, including this Jacob Bryson. You can get my t-shirt in the background there. Uh, again, love those. So three sunsets and then two matte pinks, uh, Sebastian Ajo and Rupe Hints on the matte pinks. So that's our 11 total of the base parallels from the sunset rainbow and matte pink sets. We got 12 total inserts. We got five of the photo drivens. Again, these cards are pretty nice looking. I just like the looks of them. The night one's actually, I think, my favorite one of them all. We got four of the sweet selections. Again, these actually look a lot better compared to previous years. So I really like the design here, how it kind of has like the draft floor and the wall in the background almost. And we got three of the die cuts. Again, I quite like these as well. Uh, I think they're a nice little insert set. I think you can get autographs and parallels of them as well too. So those would be pretty sick. Um, yeah, and then on to the base parallels, the number base parallels. We ended up getting an extra one actually. So we'll go through them one at a time just so I can get them to focus and have no glare. But the hot magmas are numbered to 499. Uh, the original sell sheet had them as 399, but it looks like they upped them um, to 499. It doesn't matter. They look beautiful, especially with the flames, just because, you know, flames are hot, magma's hot. Yeah, I like the looks of these. Again, numbered to 499. So we got a Mangiapane, 
Uh, we got a uh, Ronberg and just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful looking. We actually got pretty lucky getting uh, five marquee rookies in numbered parallels and we got an extra numbered parallel, right? So that's pretty cool. Uh, the Colin and the J or Keaton Middleton, sorry, on the numbered Violet Pixels to 299. Focus, there we go. And a Cam York on the red prisms to 140, 199, sorry, 199. And then the lowest numbered card we got in the break was a Taylor Radish Ar Arctic Freeze, number 299 on that one. So cool parallels all around. Again, if you like chasing after parallels, OPG Platinum is definitely a product for you. Uh, the Patrice Bergeron, by the way, was not on the checklist. So this is probably an Easter egg card. I don't know how often they will fall, but keep an eye out for them. They are pretty obvious. The OPG Premier Platinums, they're rainbow. They're the old school design. They did this last year as well. So hopefully that means they have the pond hockey parallel in there too. And finally, our one rookie auto per box is actually a quite good one at Swayman. He's a group C auto. So yeah. Anyways, if you liked what you saw and wanted to pick up a box for yourself and you're in Canada, there will be a link to our site, ZephyrEpic.com, in the description below, as well as just a direct link to the product. That wraps things up for the break. So again, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, again, feel free to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment with your thoughts on the video as well. And yeah, I think the next product release is supposed to be 2022-23 Synergy, so we might have a box opening of that next week. But until then, take care, everyone. Again, have a good week, and I will see you next time. Take care, and look at that beautiful autograph. I love platinum. The parallels are just beautiful. All right, see ya.